Okay, good day to you. This will be your first video. I'm uh, introducing you to a text editor called REPL IT. Um, it's similar to what we've been using, but I believe this will be a better learning tool for you to continue to learning programming. Um, so first you'll see a few things over here on my left. I can create new files, I can create new folders. Um, we won't be using that a lot, but if you ever, once we get further into Java, we'll be able to do those. Um, just like in PyCharm, you can hit run, and that will run your program over here. This is kind of your console where you'll see the output. Over here, you can see my REPLs, and this is where you can see all of the past um, programs that you've that you've made. You can also make new folders. So eventually, we can do a new folder here and do something like Python. And then what we could do is you can upload all of the Python folders that we've done, and you can put them inside of here. Okay, and then let's go back into my program. So here is our first Java assignment that we're going to make. Um, every single time we start a new one, uh, well here, let me do this, sorry. New REPL, and then this is kind of like in PyCharm, we had to select which file you want to do. These are all different um, computer programming languages. Um, I, the only two that I know so far are Java and Python, but um, PHP is for web design. I don't even know what some of these are used for, but today what we're using is Java. Here you can then name your um, assignment. So like this first one's just gonna be called print and variables. And then you can do, I'm gonna just do one because I've already created one. You want this to name the assignment that you're doing. So if we're doing an if statement assignment or an amusement park assignment, you, that's what you want to call your assignment. Okay, you'll notice that Replit does uh, a lot of work for you, which is really nice. It sets up the program. These first two lines of code are basically establishing your environment. Okay, this is the name of your file, main.java, that's where that comes from. And the rest of this is just basically setting up your environment. It has a lot more compli complicated meaning, but there's no reason to know it. And you'll see here, this is our first line of code, system.println hello world. So what I want you to do first, I want you to delete that, and I want you to type it in yourself. System.outprintline, and then type in hello world. You've got to type in the first time for your good luck. Hello world. Okay, just go right up here to run. You'll see the red little twiggly reminding you when you're making a mistake. Whenever you do an end of line code in Java, it's more common to do a semicolon. I know a lot of times in Python, it was a semicolon, sorry, just a regular colon, but in Java, it's usually a semicolon. Why that is, I do not know. And there we have our first line of code with, with um, hello world, okay? Now we're just going to take a couple, so just keep following along with me. We're just going to do another couple of printout statements just to make sure you've got the hang of it. Um, you want to be able to get system.outprintline typing really fast. You just want to get that practice a lot of times. So you can do whatever you want here. You can do Superman is awesome. Remember to have those quotes in there. It's the same. This is the, this is the same as Python. If you don't have those quotes in there, it'll think it's a variable, where we're not using a variable this time, we need those quotation marks. If we don't have those quotation marks, it won't work, and don't forget that semicolon. Let's just do another one. Um, CHS is awesome. Okay. Okay, I feel like we got the hang of that. Um, now, let's just introduce a variable. Variables in Java is a little bit different, so in Java, we have to use uh, the word string. If you remember from Python, string is when we're going to use text. So we just do string name equals, and then you just want to put what you want to name, what value you want to assign that variable. So we'll just do Mr. S, and then we have to do that semicolon to end it. So this goes the line is saying the value of the local variable is not used. Oh yeah, we're not using it yet. And then we're gonna do another system. System dot out print 
line. And then we can just do name, just like in Python. Okay, only part is we have to put this whole other part instead of just print, like in Python. Let's see if it works. Superman is awesome. CH is awesome. Mr. S. So you can see that we first assign the value of Mr. S to the variable name, and now we're going to print out that variable. Okay, so let's try that again. String um, school equals um, chs. And then let's print it out. So send that out. Print line um, school. Let's see if that works. Oh, forgot that semicolon. Don't forget. Other than that, it's working great. Okay, let's combine um, text together. System dot out print line. Um, I don't forget those quotes. I go to, and then if we wanted to then call upon that variable, we have to use a plus sign, and then we can type school, and then let's see how that works. Whoa, I don't know what's going on here. That's just the variable we want to call upon. Let's try it. Oh, gosh, dang it. You forget my semicolon. There we go. I go to CHS. You'll notice I did that on purpose. There's no space there. Okay, when you want to do a space, same thing as in Python, you just got to put a space there. Okay. Great. Awesome. Um, last one. Let's just do system out let's combine everything together print ln um, my name is then we can do a variable uh, name plus I go to plus school okay we always want to make sure we go back through and space it out so we have some good spacing on our our code and don't forget that semicolon. Let's see how it looks. Dang it, did a semicolon. <laughs> My name is Mr. S. I go to school. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind is when you're doing text after that, you also need to put a space on that side. There we go. Um, you can go ahead and try some more, but for this assignment, that is all you will need to do. Good job. Um, again, this assignment is just, again, teaching us the basics of printing out, which is not very much different from Python, other than we just need to type a little bit more. And then if we want to print out a, a string, we have to put it in quotes. If we want to print out a variable, then we have to just do a variable name. Um, and then variables, we're going over a little bit in this video. Um, instead of, like in Python, we could have just put name and Mr. S. In this, we have to tell the program what type of variable we're doing. We'll learn more about variables in the next video.